thanks for stopping by on my channel today i'll be showing you how to prepare this delicious vegetable soup so if you want to see how i've made this delicious vegetable soup come with me to the garden so that we'll pick up few water leaves that we'll use for this vegetable soup in some chili Here we are in my little garden. I'm trying to pick some water leaf. Water leaf is one of the vegetables that grows very well during rainy season. You can see the quantity that I already got, but I still need to add more to it <laughs> since I'm not paying for it. So I'm getting it for free. Why not? As you can see, I got almost a handful or more than a handful. Over to the chili, picking some red chili. Some are still very green, but I'm just trying to pick up the red ones. So now I'll have lots of chilies, but this is the quantity I'll be using for this soup for now. The ingredients I'll be using to prepare this vegetable soup. I have the water leaf here, stock fish which I've washed with hot water, and I have the baby spinach leaf, and I have um, smoked fish, red oil, cooking red oil, onions, crayfish, and over here for the meat, I have diced beef, gizzard, trub, and uh, or shaki. You can use any meat of your choice, but this is what I've got at the moment. And red chili, ogili, and I have no and salt, onions, and red tatashi. As you can see, I've washed and removed all the seeds from the long chili. I will start by putting all the meat with the stockfish in a clean pot. Then I will add salt, onions, and one no cube. I will add a cup of water. I will not be boiling this meat with too much water. I will stay it together. I'll add the stock fish, then I'll boil it for 20 minutes. The reason why I will not be boiling this meat and fish with too much water is because I want this vegetable soup not to be watery. I want it to be thick. I'll stir it together and cover it to cook for 20 minutes and I'll be checking it. So while that is going on, I'll blend my chili, ogili, and the tatashi. That is the blended ogili, the chili and the tatashi. I blended it off camera so this video won't be too long and I'm here slicing the vegetable. I'm slicing the baby spinach leaf. Slice, slice, slice. 
be careful so that you won't cut your fingers some people they like to wash the vegetable in the market or they just like to slice it in the market then when they get home they wash it doing so the vegetable will lose some nutrients so it's always good to wash it let the water drain out of it before slicing it I'll set that aside then I'm going to slice the water leaf slicing water leaf you need a very sharp knife because water leaf sometimes used to be sticky on oh, no, no, no. I'm done slicing the water leaf. I'll set that aside. Then I'll check the meat. As you can see, the meat is almost done. I'll check if it's soft. And there's still a little bit of liquid inside it. I'll cover it to cook till the water is almost dry. Now, as you can see, the water is next to nothing. So I'll start again by putting red oil, palm oil in this clean pot. I'll add the onions immediately because I do not want the oil to be bleached. And I'll add the crayfish. Now, you see, I still got a little bit of red oil left because of the tatashi. I did not use too much oil. I'll add the blended chili and the ogili. Stir it very well. Then I'll add the remaining half of the null cube. I'll add all the meat and fish inside it, the meat and the stock fish. I'm going to rinse that pot, the meat pot, with a spoon of water, which I'll add very soon. That's it. I'll cover it to steam for five minutes. It's been over five minutes now. You can see that look. Wow. <laughs> Taste for salt. I'm just going to sprinkle salt on it. Stay it very well. Then I'll add the baby spinach. Stay it together, then I'll add the water leaf.
you can see that look even without not using too much oil the soup still look nice tastes great Just stir the vegetable, mix it together with the meat and the other ingredients. At this point, you can see there's a little bit of water coming out from the vegetable. I'm going to add the smoked fish. The reason why I did not add the smoked fish before now is because I did not want it to separate inside the soup. The soup is almost ready. I'm going to cover it to steam for a minute and the soup should be ready after then. Let it steam for a minute on a low heat. And that is the end of it. The soup is ready. Yummy, 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 yummy. Try this recipe with your family and you thank me later. This soup is so delicious, so delicious. I don't even know how to explain it, but you can see this soup is so delicious. Let me know what you would like to enjoy this soup with. If it is with rice, gari, uh, semolina, banded yam, semovita, potato. Just let me know what you would like to enjoy with. For me, I'm going to enjoy with gari. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. But if you've not subscribed to my channel at this point, please hit that red button and subscribe. Subscribe now. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Manyalicious vegetable soup. Yes. And that is the soup.